Hi guys, I'm back. So last session revision section. I hope you hope you can try remember and try to do it yourself. Discipline. Try to do it yourself. So now in this video, I will talk about the basic rules in badminton. So it is very important to follow the rules. You might lose a point just because you didn't obey a rule or you'll get a penalty. So, so um, there is, I, I think most, most of the people know some rules like the scoring, like how many score and um, the position. So, but some might uh, confuse about the in and out line, like the double and single line is different. And like double, there are another rule for, where? Um, for serving, for the ser first serving. So people might get confused. So it's actually not that hard, but, mm, but usually people will play double. So I will explain about double. It's, and now I'm going to say that. I'm going to share screen. I'll show you. Share. Okay. This is basically the chart of the um. I mean, then cut, and this is the full diameter. So you need a diagram. The red one, the red part, is single line. We call it single line. And the yellow one, we call it double line. So, um, as you can see, as you can see, the net is over here. Okay. Between the net and the short surface line, when you serve, as it you say is short service line. So when you serve, when you stand here, when you serve to your opponent, your shuttle land before this line, they will call you shot. So you will lose a point for that. And so same thing, right, right to right, stand here, serve, before for the line, shot, double single, same. Same rule. Before the line when you is out, you will lose a point. Or your opponent will lose a point. So, serving is very important. It may be done. You serve good, you'll get return easy return. So if you serve bad, you might have a hard time to return back to the shutter. So too high, they will step or smash. Too low, and you will out. So serving, you need, um, you need to practice very often. So even like some national players, they put cones on each side, on each corner. So when they serve, they will try to, like um, aim, they will aim for the cone when they train. So the box like 2,000 shutter, 1,000 shutter, and they were just serving. So it's, um, it, look, it looks easy, but it's really very hard. Okay, the other thing is when you're serving, your shutter, your, you know, your racket, can higher, can low, can higher than your racket. So no matter what, okay, push, okay? Not higher, push, same, push. 
this one same when you hit the shutter lower than your wrist Bam. same thing everything apply lower than your wrist if higher than your wrist that's mean you're foul foul you can lose a point so uh, so must it seems easy but it needs the possession possession sorry that you need to know where you hit and you need to know you need to learn that exact place that you want to hit so the target targeting targeting serving push 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 here here anywhere lower than the rest yeah Okay, now next, now we'll talk about the single line first. So, single line will be red. This is a single line. Yeah. So, that means this from this line, when you're serving, when you first serve this line, this square. Within this graph is in. Other than that, this and this means out. So, like, okay. Remember, this is out. Or single, this is out. When serving, when serving, and this is out too. Okay, this part. So no matter where you hit, do not hit over this line. Do not hit over this line. Okay. Uh, that that's simple. For single, that's it. So it's not that hard. Okay, so um for double, you focus on the other line. You see this long serving? Long serving means that the first serve, for example, you're at you're here. The first serve, your shutter must be inside this box. If you're outside the box, that means you're out. So, no matter where you hit, must inside this box. Here and here is out. Okay? Remember that. And the other thing is, after that, this box, this whole box is in. So after you serve, you are going to return back to you. That means that after serve, this whole box is in. So because there's two players, so we need more space, right? And yep. And this doesn't apply anymore. This only apply on your first on the on serving, not during the game, during the score uh scoring phase. Just this one, okay. So uh, yeah, very easy. So if you if you know this is uh badminton has the scoring system is twenty one point. Mm, 31 point and when you get uh 2020 20, means deals the next game point is 22 so add up add up until 29 29 the net the first one who get 30 will win the match and there will be 
total of and every every match like uh there will, every every section right there will be three out of two that's mean if your opponent win one match and you win one match there will be the third match that decide the winner but if you or your opponent win both match so that's mean you're already the winner and yeah so the point will just end will end at 30. Uh, uh, that's not a uh, usually that won't really happen because like just one round just one round you'll play 30 points you will be you will be like that <laughs> even even for national player you can see it's like rarely like mm, there's one time there's one Olympic they did get it Malaysia. Like I think it's 29. Yeah, 29 30. So yeah, this is the basic rule. And uh when you serve, this is odd number. This is even number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every time left. Odd, unless it's odd, um, right, it's even. So, so if you're playing single, means that serve right to right. You have to stand here. So that this one is two. So if you're playing, if you're a number, serve cross three. This one is three. So right, switch, and winner get to serve if you get a point you get yourself if you lose a point you're gonna get yourself uh actually that's just very straightforward so it's like not that not that hard and there is some video i can show you um like this one yeah you can see You can see this one is first point. So uh, this one is one, two, three, four, five. So we'll start with zero, means that you are serve here. You are serve here, this is your first, your, your first serve. And when either side get one point, then you switch to the other side. So you can see how they do. This is how they just cross. See? See how yeah. You see how they use the um, they only use their wrist. No matter how they only use their wrist. Push. Push. Yes. They use pushing, not Moving the whole hand, you see, uh, rack it up. That's it. You see, out, this face is out. This is out. Yeah, you can see, this is single player. Yeah, that's out. So, as you can see, right, this is single player. So, it's a like, um, double player that's a bit complicated. So yeah, so now I'm talk I will talk about double player. Okay. Yeah. Double player. First point. You and your partner will be here. This is you. This is your partner. Yeah. Okay. This is first point. So same. Odd even. Odd even. So first point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
make an example if you lose if you lose the first point your partner or your opponent partner will be serving you this whoever stand at the side will serve then that person if the if the group if the team kept winning the person who serves will will keep serving until it does a point okay so here here this is the first, this is this is when when you are you are you are here and you serve over here and you example if you lose right this person will be serving so that's mean This okay now first point one love one love this person will be serving to your partner so if you stand here just on yourself here right then you'll be preparing here and your partner will be here okay it's a bit complicated so you have to remember where you stand when you serve and can't mess up if you mess up. And you, your opponent find out, you will lose a point. And in the uh, real competition, it's not like when you friendly play, actually, you guys don't no really mind. So if you mess up, never mind. But if you're in a game, a competition, you must, you and your partner must know where, when is yourself and where is your serving where you stand and when you, when who will serve so this might remember if you forget about that then you'll lose your point and that's uh that's not a good thing about this so as you can see um i got a video over here that double so you can see um yeah so let's see how they hold wait what is this So uh, yeah. So this. Repair, houses to clean, all boilers to fix. When it comes. Yeah, see how they stand. Wonder. Level. See how they stand. This is how you support. And you see, always on the wrist. Always using a wrist. Oh. Yeah. So that never because um double is about speed. It's more than speed, not the stamina. So yeah, see how they serve. Just push, push. Yeah, so that pushing only. So you you can't see. You never saw someone that they would do that. Yeah, so oh, there no one doing that. So just push, push. Yeah, up, down, push. Yeah, not. Yeah. And no, here, back. You can't see people will do that. No one will do that. So don't ever do that. Yeah, this is a very straight route, <laughs> and you will get slower, and probably will hurt yourself. So yeah, and yeah. Uh, as you can see, right, they, how they serve is like um lower than your 
So you see how, how they hold their racket and how they Lower than this. Yeah. Yeah. See. It must be you. You have to do that. Ah. Uh, have to do that. Lower than your risk. If not, you will get. You will. You will lose a. Uh, you will get foul. Foul means that you lose a point. Um, and mm -hmm. there is a this uh, and your uh, so how they serve, how they stand. Yeah. See. And see how they use their backhand. They hardly use backhand, especially in double. They hardly use backhand. That line. Yes, yes. Too high, then you lose your point. So double is about pushing, pushing your partner, not lifting or the no no no. That one is like that one is for finger. Double is only pushing, so the shadow won't be going up, only go down. Yeah, always check it out. Mm, yeah. Yeah. They just now use just use over here. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Even dropping. They didn't even hesitate. Oh hey. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh hey. Always use over here. They don't they hardly use backhand. Backhand is too slow. Um, maybe you can see like oh, some like Li Zhongwei single 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 player. They might use backhand of them because back I uh, see still away. No matter how they will try to avoid using backhand. <laughs> Very important. Always back to center. Oh, hey, see. No backhand. Always back to center. Always back to center. Center. Right. Center. Yeah. You see how they make. Yes. This is why I learned lunges. Lunges, you can see how. You can see how they, how, how, what is that? How they move? They always move. Maybe. Reckon they always in front. Okay? So no matter what, leg you're using, what hand you're using. Left hand, left leg. Push. Okay? Left hand, left leg. Push. Very important. Uh, and see how they hold. How they like it. Okay? Not. Not like this, not like this. Huh. Not like this. Not like this. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, you see it. Um, yeah. And that's a basic rule. And if you got a chance, if you got a chance to uh, to really um, Uh, get into a competition, you must remember the first thing is respect. Respect yourself. Respect, like respect your opponent and respect the empire, the judge. So the first thing you step into the court when they call your name, shake hands with your opponent and the judge. Uh, 
if you didn't do that, you will get a yellow card. Yellow card means that it's a warning. So this, if you get two yellow cards, you will get a black card. Uh, black card means that you ban the uh, and when you lose, don't break your racket. This is a bad move. You will get banned for the for the competition. So yeah, there is some player that break their racket and they will get banned or fine. So I mean this is BWF law rules. So you have to follow. So uh, even though it's a small competition. Of course, the racket is not cheap. Plus, the racket is not cheap. And if you don't respect the racket, that means you don't even respect the game. Because racket is what, like football? Football is your feet, your leg. Racket is like that. Is that. So if you do not have racket, that means you're not playing badminton. So you have to respect each other. And after that, you will get to, I mean, this is a procedure. So you will get a, empire will talk, uh, talk to you about the rules. And I mean, they don't really talk about rules. They will just flip the coin so that head or tail, if the one who gets right, they have the they had the they can choose who to start. So like if you choose the if your head and when the empire flip the coin then you get head the head will face out that's mean you will get to choose whether you want to start or you run your opponent with that. You get a choice. And if normal play, if normal play, right, people will just toss up their their shutter. Whenever the shutter face, that person, that group or that that group or that person get to choose they want to start or you start. So uh this is how they determine who starts first. And when the game starts, the rules what I said just now all will apply in the game. So it's not that hard to memorize, it's, it's just a line. And so uh, yeah, it's not really hard to, to recognize the whole the rules is basically if you play of them, you might know about this. Like where in, where out. But there is some possibility people will say that if you hit the line, that's actually in. So it's with outside the line only is out. So that's mean if the line, first the line will be this way. Okay, usually this is line. This is the line. I zoom up, zoom in. So yeah, this is the line. When the shutter hit within the line, it's still in. And you must know that I saw people argue about that. So the the BWF rule within the line is in. So for example, this line, imagine this is this line for double. If the shutter hit here, it's in. So, but if the shutter just hit outside, no matter how, it's still out. So, but if the shutter hit between the lines, it's still in. 
no matter how this line to this line is in so it's within the line i heard there's so many people argue about that when i play so like this they might i there might be a fight so to because of this small thing because some uncle they are they are desperate to win so i'm more desperate so if someone asks you about that so you say you can say just within the line okay outside the line oh in okay you imagine this is this is the line and this is the line we zoom up within the line very important don't forget about it so okay and actually i don't have anything really basic thing to teach you again anymore but yeah um let's revise it from a start the first thing you need to do before you end is to get your own racket how first and racket will do get your own racket with a grip and swing if not bro eh? must be strong okay can hear this there's no reason and get your own shoes let me touch in those shoes anything uh recommended of course better if you can you can just get your wearing the shoe if you can't basketball shoe also accepted but it's very heavy and it's not that flexible to move so yeah mm, okay the second thing is um stretch up to fair injury and cramming so must have enough stretching for us to get cramped and that is suffer you don't want to get cramped i mean if some of you guys cramped before and you know what i mean so stretching is very important at first i got the experience yes when when i was young uh, we just say what's the point for stretching but yeah after the cramp right we know after okay. <laughs> I know. So okay, the other thing is um next is warm up before you start a game. Must warm up and get some sweat so that when you're in you are ready. Like right. if you if you go in there without any warm up. Uh, at first, at first, you can't use your full potential. Second, you will get cramped because your muscles still relax and you, you force it to pump. So actually, that's not, not, not a good thing to do. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the other, okay, next is, um, after that, you enter the card, remember to check your grip, how you hold your grip. Very important, the first thing, I mean for beginner. If you get used to it, uh, you get used to it. But if you're a beginner, check your grip, okay? And you start warm up for my session. Okay, okay. Try to get your angle up. correct. Try to get your timing correct. So before I start your game, they had a warm up, warm up session for you and opponent. So you guys can get the feeling and get the the win. There's like if there is some places that have that um, is ventilated, but there's still some wind and 
every place had different uh, environment. So, and they had different um, the wind, so wind direction, different wind direction. So you need to get used to the the environment before you start a game. So this is why player, the like international player, they get to test court. Correct? Test court means that they will know uh, the feeling of the revenue, the company. Uh, the uh, venue, revenue, the venue. So yeah, I get, try to hold it, I get, then, and the posture, and rack it up, always rack it up. Yeah, and when it start, remember the rules on the rock, in and out, inside the line, they will call it on uh, in the line or out. There's only in inside in the line and out. So there's no other things that you can think of. Or short or long. Long mean double. Long only a plan double here. Long. Short is here. But both of these only apply to serving. So yeah. And after the game, of course, don't if you lose, don't throw. If you win, don't get too smart. So just go to your empire and go to your opponent, check hands. Great game, that's it. No matter lose or win, you must do that. Mm, the one is just fine. So the other thing is after that, yeah, that's it. There's not much basic to talk about. Mm, that's all we got. I got. So thanks for for listening. Yeah, if you're listening, <laughs> thanks for listening until the end. It's very bad because, of course, online is not that easy, but you try to apply it on court, then you know what I mean. Okay? So, yeah. Bye-bye.